This Lucite cube I am holding contains one of the most lethal and toxic metals on Earth. Not counting the radioactive elements, only a few milligrams of this metal will kill a person if consumed. I am talking about thallium. Thallium, whose symbol is TL with atomic number 81, is located on period 6 and group 13 of the periodic table. Thallium's color is similar to lead with a silvery gray color and upon contact with the air it immediately starts to corrode. Thallium retains its luster in this lucite cube by lucitaria due to it being in an inert argon atmosphere. This is about 2 to 3 grams of thallium. The metal's density and hardness is similar to lead at 11.873 grams per cubic centimeter with a hardness of 1.2, soft enough to be cut with a knife. Its melting point is 304 degrees Celsius or 579 degrees Fahrenheit and its boiling point is 1473 degrees Celsius or 2683 degrees Fahrenheit. Thallium was discovered by British and French chemists William Crookes and Claude Auguste Lamy in 1861. Annual worldwide production of thallium is around 10 metric tons. It is a byproduct from the smelting of copper, zinc, and lead ores, mostly from northern Macedonia. Extreme care and caution must be taken when handling thallium. While mercury and lead will poison a person over the course of decades of exposure, thallium, however, is the king of non-radioactive toxic metals and will kill in a much faster time frame, such as a matter of days, from acute exposure. Thallium was once used as an ingredient in rat poison, but a ban on thallium-based rat poison was in place by 1972 in the U.S. as well as most parts of the world due to accidental poisonings. Unintentional thallium poisoning came in the form of inhaling particles. Thallium poisoning also causes hair loss and eventually death. Thallium was the go-to poison as it could not have been detected easily many years ago. However, with new technology, it can be easily detected in the body. There have been many documented cases of thallium-based deaths, either intentionally or unintentionally. Thallium and all of its compounds are extremely toxic. Thallium contact with skin is dangerous and can be readily absorbed through the skin upon contact. Never ever touch thallium with bare hands under no circumstances. There's a very good reason why I purchased this thallium metal in a lucite cube instead of a glass ampule as there is at least a two centimeter barrier between me and the thallium, whereas an ampule could easily break. There is very little industrial use for thallium nowadays. It has limited use in optics, electronics, magnetics, and some thermometers. Permissible thallium skin exposure in the workplace over the course of eight hours is a tenth of a milligram per square meter. To put that into perspective, that is a hundred times smaller than a grain of sand. A potentially lethal and dangerous dose of thallium is 15 milligrams per square meter of skin exposure over the course of eight hours. That is the size of a grain of sand, to put that into perspective. When collecting elements off the periodic table, take great care when handling and storing the most dangerous elements. I recommend buying a safe to store your toxic and dangerous elements in.